Welcome to the Positive Pants Podcast. Mindset, motivation, and inspiration to help you find your positive pants. It's time to let go of negative thinking, understand why you do what you do, and stop the self-sabotage with your host, Fran Excel. Welcome to the show. As always, it's Fran Excel, your resident subconscious success mentor, helping you find your very own pair of positive pants so you can get out of your own way and live a life that you love. If you want to stop sabotaging your own success and let go of the stress, then you are in the right place, my friend. Make sure you download your free stressed to success guided meditation at bit.ly forward slash stressed to success as my little gift to you for being here. Please do subscribe, share, review. It really, really helps people that need to hear this message find us. And I so appreciate it. In the show notes, you will also find details of how you can work with me and where you can get your mitts on my meditations, products, and printables. You can also find it through the link in my bio on Instagram, which is my second favorite place to hang out. So please do come join me over there at I'm Fran Excel. Tag me in your takeaways, slide into my DMs. I am here for it. So that is the formalities over my love. So let's jump into the content. Just a quick note before we get started. This is a conversation with a pal and there is some colorful language. (laughs) If you've got the kiddos around, whack your earpods in. So if you've got value from this and you know in your gut that now is the time to step up and start rewiring your thinking and start changing things for yourself, then please do book in a free discovery call so we can work out what needs to happen to get you from where you're at right now to the action taking success you know you can be. If you want my eyes and ears on your problems, then I do work with people one on one and through the Proactive Pants program. You can find all the details to book in a call in the show notes, the link in my bio on Instagram and on my website, franexcel.com. So stop waiting for if and when and choose to change things now because you can. I am here to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. And as always, I hope you found this helpful. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye. As I sit here tying up all the loose ends, before the festive period, I wanted to hop into your earbuds with a little message from me to you. Think of it as my version of the Queen's speech for this year. (laughs) Yep, just call myself a Queen. If the crown fits, yeah? (laughs) My, My heart really, really goes out to all the people who are feeling lonely this festive period due to the recent announcements around COVID and everything else that's going on. It also goes out to those who were going to be lonely regardless. It goes out to those who are struggling to get any alone time and feeling like they just want to scream. It goes out to the people struggling with their relationships and family life and those who are absolutely reveling in the peace and quiet and feel like they can't talk about it. It goes out to the confused kids, the frazzled adults, whoever and wherever you are, my heart really goes out to you. You've done so well this year, even if it may not feel like it right now. You flipping made it, right? Christmas is done. New Year's coming. I mean, wow, (laughs) what a year. (laughs) unprecedented amounts of trauma, personal and societal, heartache, confusion, change and uncertainty on a global scale. And for me personally, aside from the obvious global news around COVID, Black Lives Matter, all of these huge things that went on in 2020, I had an operation with a long recovery in March. My mum had to shield through the first lockdown as she was recovering from her cancer treatment. Um, she's gonna. She's absolutely fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> lost my granny in May. Lost my granddad in June. My dad's cancer came back. Just waiting on treatment, but he will be fine. Um, lost a huge amount of revenue in April to June in our Airbnb. And as an anxious avoidant attachment style, struggled really being in the same house as my hub since February. Hey, caramba. If you want to know more about anxious avoidant attachment and and what your attachment style may be then definitely go and check that i will link link up a um what's the word i'm looking for i will link up a quiz in the comments so you can learn a little bit more about that but among all of this 
also joy, stillness, acceptance, gratitude, togetherness. You know, I slowed down more than I ever have before. I'm an overachiever personality type, so it took me a minute, but it was the best thing I could have done. And incredible changes have come off the back of it. I've had my best ever revenue year. I cut out all the things that were weighing and slowing me down work-wise. Anything that was feeling heavy. Some of those decisions were big, scary decisions. The Airbnb made more revenue June to October than the whole year before, even though we got the whole of the spring to just enjoy the garden to ourselves. And I worked pretty much naked in said garden for most of the time. Got a glorious tan. <laughs> I worked through a lot of layers of the onion that I'm always talking about with my hubs and with myself. Yeah. Deep trauma work is excruciating, let me tell you, but it is so incredibly rewarding. I started eating pretty much only organic food and found new ways of shopping without going to the supermarket. I'm nearly finished with my hypnotherapy qualification and I'm signed up with the Heart Math Institute for February. And I'm so excited for how that's going to deepen my work with clients. Hello, biofeedback. <laughs> um, beautiful gifts of babies to some dear friends who had suffered multiple heartaches for many, many years in their journey to parenthood. I spent time in nature and watched the seasons change from my window. I got to know myself on a far deeper level and I already knew myself pretty well. <laughs> friends engagements and more lockdown babies. I spent time in the garden every day of the spring and summer and we grew our own produce to eat from seeds. You know, I launched new products that I love and feel really lit up by and have so many big plans for 2021. I've worked with some incredible, incredible clients and saw them completely flourish and change. And I'm so grateful for each of their openness and trust in me. There is so much more. But my point is, it's really, really easy to focus on the bad, particularly when it's what most people talk about online. And it's really easy to get caught in the what you should feel, what you shouldn't feel. That person's got it worse than me. That person's got it better than me. You know, we're wired that way through negativity bias too, to focus on the bad. And oh my goodness, so many emotions. It's also completely understandable and makes sense. Your emotions make sense, especially in a year like 2020. So for me, it's about acceptance of the bad acceptance yeah allowing all the feels not judging them not trying to suppress them it's being curious of them and it's embracing of the good and the gratitude for the good yeah this is a year we will never forget we'll be feeling the re repercussions for years to come but 2021 can be a time for positive change but it can also be about slowing down resting, tuning into yourself and your body, getting to know yourself again. It can be whatever you want it to be. So don't rush into those new year's resolutions. You know, they're all about shaming anyway. 90% of people give up by February and then use it as a way to beat themselves up even more. But you won't do that, will you, my friend? I'm winking at you right now. <laughs> so let's do things differently this year. Let's focus on the do, do, do. Yeah, more focus on the be and have. Who do you want to be? How do you want to show up for yourself and the people that you love and your clients? What do you want to change? What do you want to have in your life? And how can you get it? I'm not talking just, you know, the material things like I want a new car or I want a house, you know, or I want 10 high ticket clients. I'm talking about, I want to have more fun in my life. I want to have more creativity. I want to have more connection or I want to have more energy. How do you want to live? You know, the things that really matter. What do you truly, truly want deep down in your soul for you? Not muddied by other people's opinions or society or anything you're telling yourself about what you can and can't have. What do you want? You know, act, the action is obviously an important piece of the puzzle, of course, but that comes too when you focus on who you're being. Yeah. We have the power to change the game. It's completely up to us. So I hope that you were all wrapped up for Christmas and you had a glorious Christmas day, boxing day, all of these things. And I hope you're still taking a rest in the remainder of the festive season and into new year. 
I hope you have a break. Rest. Replenish. So happy new year, happy rest of the festive season, and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs>